Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video we will talk about three very important architectures that are commonly used in deep learning. Two towers, Siamese networks and the triplet loss. These architectures play crucial roles in various applications and are used in general to compute the similarity between two inputs. To start with, the two towers architecture is named for its characteristic structure of connecting embeddings in two distinct modalities and this model is commonly employed when dealing with data that originates from different sources or modalities. For instance, in image retrieval applications, it is necessary to combine visual and textual information seamlessly. The two towers architecture accomplishes this by creating separate towers each handling one modality and then merging the embeddings at a later stage. The strength of the two towers model lies in its ability to capture complex relationships between diverse types of data like textual and visual data and by leveraging separate towers it allows the network to specialize in extracting features specific to each modality before fusing them together. This can result in a more robust representation of the overall data, providing a nuanced understanding that may be challenging to achieve with a single monolithic network. Moving on to Siamese networks, we encounter a model that has a distinct characteristic compared to the two towers architecture, which is that both networks operate on the same modality and share the same weights. This architecture is particularly well suited for tasks involving similarity or dissimilarity comparisons within a single modality. In short, the Siamese architecture shines in scenarios where the goal is to assess the likeness or dissimilarity between pairs of input samples. By sharing weights between the branches, the network learns to extract and compare features effectively, making this type of architecture popular in applications such as signature verification, facial recognition, and even in some natural language processing tasks, where the focus is on measuring the similarity between text sequences. Lastly, the triplet loss architecture is a variation of the Siamese networks that introduces the concept of triplets. Three instances of data, a positive anchor, a negative anchor, and a reference anchor. The positive anchor is an example similar to the reference anchor, while the negative anchor is an example dissimilar to the reference anchor. And by doing this, the triplet loss aims to enhance the discrimination capability of the network, pushing it to learn more discriminative and robust features. In comparison to Siamese networks, which only deal with pairs of samples, the triplet loss architecture introduces an additional layer of complexity by incorporating the negative anchor, allowing the model to not only bring similar instances closer together in the embedding space, but also push dissimilar instances further apart. This makes the triplet loss architecture particularly effective in tasks such as face recognition, where distinguishing between very similar faces is crucial. And that's basically it, folks. These three deep learning architectures Two towers, Siamese networks, and triplet loss offer unique solutions to different challenges in the realm of machine learning for computing, the similarity between inputs. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this explanation, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with the content I create on this channel. See you next time. Bye bye.